Darren, I think everybody watching, our commentary team, myself, we're all lost for words. So it's over to you. How emotional is that night? First and foremost, I just want to um, just give God thanks for a remarkable uh, fight back. Um, thank Peterborough for the game because they were part of it um, tonight. But what we've done is probably not sunk in as yet because it's just been a remarkable night of football, really. And a real never say die attitude by the boys. David, we prepared all week. I said, I said you know, we, 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 we planned after the, the first leg and we got in and we changed the mindset. We'd been working all week on changing the mindset, but doing some good work in training. And we did that. Uh, and there was a real great belief, even up to taking penalties. We'd done it all week in preparation. So right through the stages of the game, game plan, detail, um, segments in the game that we spoke about in goals, preparation, tactics, all those things were taken care of. And it illustrates that when you prepare properly and in detail and you want the performance, uh, we got that tonight. And um, the goals came at crucial times, but the, the, the endeavour and the spirit was there and the togetherness was there. And, I'm just pleased for everybody at the football club. Um, after that performance, they deserve uh, the Wembley. So, you know, we've got to go again. We've got one more game to go and we focus on that one. Barry Bannon was just talking to us and I said to him, at what point did you start believing tonight? And he said, it wasn't tonight. It was when I left the changing room last week at Peterborough. Did you have the same sense of determination? Yeah, after the, after the Peterborough game, we didn't get back here till 1.30 in the morning. We was in. Uh, I think 10, 11 o'clock and we debriefed the boys and what we did was we quickly put that game behind us because it was all about looking forward and we had to do it because of the time that we had to prepare for this game was crucial. Listen, we took risks tonight, we had to go 1v1s and, and we did that tonight, you saw. But David, like I said to you, the point was to win the game, but we know football's football. And um, what these players have done tonight has been remarkable really. And, um, we know what Hillsborough's like. The key was to get in the early goals. Once we got the early goals and it was a two goal deficit, we knew here that we've scored this season. We've scored five goals at three different, um, well, now tonight's like six, uh, four, but we've scored a four as well. So we knew on average at home here, we've scored up to three goals. So we knew it wasn't a bridge too far, but the belief was there. And you saw with the performance tonight, it was an exceptional performance. I know, and you've mentioned that you're a very spiritual man and a great believer as well. There was a huge spirit inside here with your fans tonight. How important was that and the momentum that they brought? I spoke about it in, in, in my post-match media, really, and the key was the fans. You know, I, I did plead to them to come out in their numbers and be in full voice, and they gave us that. They've been giving us that all season, and they've drove the players over the line. The players were cramping up at the end, but they kept going. Why? Because the fans drove them on. So it's a message to the fans. Thank you very much. You were absolutely different class. And, um, you know, we've done it together tonight. Have you at any point questioned yourself during this difficult time that you've had? Yeah, I, th I think, um, believe it or not, I've slept at night because I've just known that I've done all I can in terms of preparation, the work. And I think that's been the, the key to it, really. So, And I've just kept the belief with the players and... And as a manager, just, I've got to drive it, but I've got a good group of players um, that we've been together all season and we continue that. And what they've done tonight has been remarkable. Is it fair to suggest this is probably one of the greatest games we'll ever see in an English stadium? I think so. Now, like when it's settling, when you think what we've done from being four goals down and coming back and scoring the goals and then, you know, a deflected shot, what went in late in the game that could have knocked the stuffing out of us, but kept the belief. And, um, and got back into the game and then obviously to do it with penalties is remarkable really. You booked your place at Wembley, it's going to be Barnsley or Bolton. I'm sure at this moment in time you don't really care, but when does the preparation begin? Yeah, no, you're prepared because uh, tomorrow for me, um, I'll go and watch the game and get over there tomorrow and go and just watch the game. And then the preparation starts now. You know, I said to the players, you know, you enjoy tonight. We get up tomorrow morning. We've got a detailed session uh, planned that we've had all month, really. So we've got, we, that comes into, into action now, really. So we get ready tomorrow. So by tomorrow, wake up tomorrow morning, the preparation will start then.
Well, Darren, well done. An incredible game, and from all of us, and I think everyone in football, after the week you've had, many, many congratulations. Cheers, David. Thank you. Cheers.